3ds max defaults to a four viewport configuration as we can see here we have four viewports this top view front view a perspective view and a left view down here in the lower left now these four views of are all of equal size now we can't display more than four viewports on the screen at the same time but we could change the layout of these different viewport configurations so let's go ahead and explore that to do that just go up here to the views main menu and go down to viewport configuration this will open up the viewport configuration window from here we can go to the layout tab now in the layout tab we can choose from up to 14 different layouts and configurations here that 3ds max allows us to choose so you can actually choose whichever of these you like if you like for example just one viewport in your entire screen you can actually select this one right here now each icon represents a different viewport configuration so for example if we choose this one down right here we'll have three viewports a large top view here that's kind of widescreen and then we'll have two lower uh, viewports here of equal size so the bottom is basically split in half so we have a front a left and a top now we can actually customize this for example if we wanted to take this top view here and turn that into a perspective view simply right click on top of that and you will see that top has a check mark well we can actually change that for example we can select perspective and you notice here in the layout dialog the top view switch to a perspective view okay so now we have a perspective a front and a left what we can do now is simply click OK and now we'll have three viewports here or three views just as the layout dialog window showed us we have a perspective view up here and we have a front and a left we can customize this further however for example we can hover our mouse to these borders that are in between the different viewports okay so for example we can hover our mouse over this gray border here between the perspective viewport on the top and the front viewport on the lower left you notice the mouse icon changes to these sort of double arrows pointing up and down we can then click and drag to resize the views however we need so for example if we need more space on the perspective view we can go ahead and just drop that down if we needed more space for these orthographic views or the front and left view here we can go ahead and just squeeze that up like that and now we have less perspective view but we do have more area to work in for the front and the left views so really you could customize this however you like and the same goes for hovering your mouse over the border here that's at the center we can actually move this left or right or we can hover our mouse right at the center of where these little border lines meet and you notice now we get four arrows uh, pointing in different directions top bottom left and right now we can click and drag and really resize this and customize this however we want we can also maximize one one of these viewports to take up the entire uh, viewport area here for example I'm gonna middle mouse button click on the perspective viewport up here and I'm gonna hit alt and W on the keyboard to maximize that view so now we only have one viewport and it's gonna be the perspective view since that's the uh, currently active view I can actually change the perspective view to a front, a left, a top, a bottom, or a back view. And I don't have to go ahead and click on the front view here and maximize that one, or click on the left view here and maximize that one. I can go ahead and do this just with the perspective view. If I right click over here on top of the word perspective in the top left corner of the uh, viewport, I can actually go to this views submenu here and I can choose, say, front or I can go back and say I want to see this from a top view I can see it from a top view and then I can go back to my perspective view but if you want to work with a little bit more speed and productivity you should learn the shortcuts and the shortcuts are the following if I want to go to a top view all I have to do is hit T on the keyboard T for top and I can go straight to a top view instantly if I want to see this from say a bottom view I can hit B B for bottom and I can go to a bottom view if I want to do a front view just hit F on the keyboard if you'd like to do a left view for example you can just hit L on the keyboard and if you have a camera set up in your scene you can actually hit C C for camera now in this case I don't have any cameras in the scene so I'll get this dialog box that says no cameras in scene I'll just go ahead and click OK if I'd like to go back to my perspective view I can hit P on the keyboard P for perspective and there we go I'm uh, thrown back to a perspective view and that's how we could actually change the viewport configuration and layout here in 3ds max and use some shortcuts to switch to different viewports types and different views to work faster and a little bit more productive here with 3ds max